Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rowan. I'm Lyron Witch. I will be reading for you today to find out what animal guides have messages for you. One of the things that I specialize in is animal communication, meaning I speak to animals that are living, dead, and the collectives of different animals. So today we're going to be spending that time tuning into any animals that have messages for you. For some groups, that could be animals that are in spirit already that have passed on. There might be messages from pets. There could be collective messages from different types of animals and animal medicine. I don't know yet. So I'm really excited to get started today, and we'll see what, has, what you have in store. Today we're going to be asking any animal guides that have messages for you to come forward. So we'll be connecting to all different types of animals that can be collectives of animals, which would be animal medicine, if you're familiar with that. Um, that could also be your pets, or even pets that have crossed over. Um, so we will see what comes through for you. And I did pull a card at the very beginning. So we're going to pull that at the end, whenever um, it's time to get that final piece of information, that's what this is going to be. Just to remind you, you picked the orange cat. So I'm going to tune in for you. And I had three cards fall out before I even started your message, or before I hit record. So the first one that came out was Hedgehog, followed by Raven and horse. So the first message that I'm getting for you is that you've been passing through a very challenging period of time in your life where you've had to put up a lot more guards with other people. That's what I'm getting from Hedgehog as I'm tuning in for you. I feel like you're somebody that's normally very vulnerable. Um, they're saying soft underbelly, but I feel like that's something that you normally pride yourself on, is your gentleness or your softness. And this has actually been a very big deal for you to be called to kind of put up your prickles or put up your guard, I guess. Um, Spirit's really been calling you to new levels of self-protection and boundaries right now. And even though that has been challenging for you, I'm feeling, I'm seeing a connection here to... Not only the Archangels, but many different animal collectives that are connected to having that soft emotional part, but also being able to really bring it home when a boundary needs to be set and not tolerate any kind of bullshit. Um, that's also coming up here with the horses, because horses are normally very gentle animals, but they're not only able to flee any kind of situation very easily, but horses are incredibly powerful and can kick and, and bite whenever they need to, um, to keep anything away that's not serving them. I do feel that the horses in particular are an animal group that has a lot of meaning for you and has been with you since you were born. So this is definitely one of your main um, animal allies or, or spirit guardians from the animal world or the horses. You may even have a connection to Sirius if you're a star if you identify as a star seed. Um, you might have connections to Lemuria as well. And the reason I'm saying that is because the presence of unicorns right here always brings up those particular lineages. And I'm feeling that energy very strongly, that you're somebody who, even though you're very soft and nurturing, um, spirit has been calling you to this kind of new level of commitment to your own protection because this part of you is so gentle and so kind and so cosmic. It's actually kind of a struggle for you in getting to live in 3D. So you might be somebody who always feels like you are not at home even though obviously you're a human. You might feel like you don't have a place and the animals are here to let you know that a big change has been happening in you because spirit has been preparing you a place. It's like you had to go through this cycle of people trying to overstep your boundaries or push you too hard or just trying to boss you around and tell you what to do. And 
because this has been going on and because you were willing to step up and stop getting stuck in kind of victim mode or getting stuck in flight mode and being willing to really own up to your own energy and set boundaries with people, that's kind of brought in this big change for you. And it's also brought in a lot of spiritual awareness and gifts that you might not have had as strongly before. Because you've been called to this new level of awareness of other people's intentions, because you've had some people with bad intentions around you, I'm seeing Raven prepare for change. And this Raven actually has this blue, this blue clearing light in its heart space. And it even has this white raven in the background, which I always see as this kind of angelic or, or cosmic side to them as well. Um, so you have kind of like the two polarities in balance here with this raven. So I feel like by being able to lean into these new gifts of awareness of both, you know, sight, because I'm seeing the third eye being activated here by your star family and by the horses and the unicorn collective here. Look, even the baby is having that happen. So you might have also had this as a child, but it's been reawakened. So if you had any kind of traumatic experiences as a child where you were bullied or put into a situation that you just weren't comfortable with, um, I'm sorry for the background noise. I live on a busy street. Yeah, if you had this situation as a child, I feel like that gift kind of got squashed or turned off. Your third eye has not been as active, even if you were somebody who had that gift of second sight before, or even um, the ability to see things before they happen, having prophetic dreams, things like that. Even visions for some of you I'm hearing. But because that got turned off, Spirit really wanted to make sure that got turned back on in this lifetime. It's very important that you use your spiritual gifts both for yourself and for other people. So you may even be called to be in a, a more spiritual role for the people around you, okay? You might be the person that other people go to for help or advice because you know things before they happen. And this blue clearing light is showing up here with this change because whenever you had to step up and protect yourself, it not only activated your third eye again because you had to be aware of what was coming, because it was a danger, but it's also activated your entire awareness spiritually. It's activated a part of you that you weren't allowing before. So you may have even been taught that, you know, you had to be a certain way, that you had to be turn the other cheek or something like that, but there is this part of you that's very fierce and willing to step up and protect yourself, and maybe that part wasn't allowed to be activated before. But what Spirit is showing me is that part is very important, and that part is allowing you to fly into new things. It's allowing you to move forward, and it's allowing you to actually manifest a lot of things that you might not have had the... I'm hearing, like, the guts to go after. I feel like you were a very reserved person before, and because of these experiences that I am sorry you had to go through because they seem really challenging, it, it seems like those experiences were placed in your life path, because spirit was trying to activate this again in you, and there was no other way to do that. So the ravens and horses are very strongly connected to you. I'm also seeing a connection with crows, okay? So the ravens and crows are, are both big for you, and so are horses. Um, if you're not called to a magical path, um, you may want to look into that. Be that candle magic, um, you might be Wiccan, uh, and you were called to explore darker parts that might not be accepted in that path. Um, it might be a druid, you know, something like that, some kind of sorcerer path where you're actually manipulating the elements or especially the element of air. You're incredibly connected to those, to that element because we have this kind of air current back here with the horses. And we also have ravens which are connected to the air because they fly, okay? But whatever you choose to do, definitely look into different types of magic that you can do with feathers. Um, I'm definitely seeing candle magic for you. Even something as simple as setting an intention and, you know, taking a seed, like a dandelion seed, and blowing the seeds away with your intention. Things like that, working with the air, working with the, the element of wind, um, because that would be really beneficial for you at this time, is what I'm getting. I'm going to pull some more cards for you here. 
They actually want me to pull up this deck again. <laughs> this is kind of funny, but Spirit's actually showing me a connection to squids as well. And I know that might seem really weird, because a lot of people don't feel very connected to the not fuzzy or cute animals, right? But squid is actually a really cool animal to be connected to, because it tells me that you have this logical mind. You're like a very, very logical person. And, and you can think things through very quickly. You just, you're just very quick, very sharp, is what I'm getting. And you're also somebody who can really blend into any kind of environment. Like, you're somebody who's just, like, very good at um, fitting in with groups of people. Even if you don't consider yourself an extrovert or a very social person, I feel like you can go into any group and just, like, mesh with them. And peacefully coexist with them. And find somebody that's, like, an ally to you. So, squid is another animal that is definitely coming up here. You also might be somebody who struggles to to be seen after either when you're dealing with something that's intense or heavy, or you can be upset by um, different kinds of. Um, let me let me think how to word this, guys, because they're showing me a a squid like inking, okay. And they're saying that you have a tendency to disappear or vanish at times. Um, when you're feeling out of balance, you might have even ghosted people before, or, the, you know, kind of disappeared on people because you didn't want to fight, and you've been avoiding conflict. That's what I'm trying to think of. So that could be something that's happened for you. And what Spirit is saying is you can definitely lean into the, the, the medicine or the energy of squid and really get clear on why you want to disappear. Spirit is saying it's very important that you understand what that what your motivation is when you do this because there are times that that is a really powerful gift to have because there are some situations that are not meant for us and it's not worth your energy or worth a fight from perhaps like a narcissist or somebody like that who is simply looking to take your energy, right? So there's power in that. But Spirit's saying to make sure that you're not doing this out of an imbalance in your boundaries, okay? So that's a warning kind of coming up here from the squid as well. And we have Owl. Um, so Owl is saying, this actually came up in reverse for you, but I want to show you this card because this deck is really beautiful. So with Owl here... Owl is always about spirit guides. Like, I'm very, very connected to the owls. They're one of my main animal teachers in this lifetime, and I feel they are for you, too. You have a lot of connections to air, okay? And with owl here coming up in reverse, they're actually telling me that you might struggle to... Again, you're very logical, so I feel that you might even struggle to take advice from your inner being or your guides at times. It's like you get these intuitive nudges and you overthink them and then maybe don't do the things that you feel called to and regret it later. And Spirit wants me to explain right now the difference between an intuitive nudge and just like a random urge to do something that's not connected to them. So because you have both this gift of clairvoyance, which is your third eye coming online. I feel that you're still learning that, but the main gift that you actually have, I'm hearing, is clairsentience, where you feel something in your body, or claircognizance, where you just know stuff. <laughs> you just know you have to do a thing. And with both of those, it is just so important to recognize when a new feeling or thought is coming in and has a feeling already attached to it. Versus when something comes in and you don't even understand necessarily why you're thinking that thing until later. Um, the reason that's important is because I've noticed for myself that whenever your guides will come in, it will be a brand new feeling and you won't even know why you're doing it yet, okay? But there's also no emotion attached to it yet. There's emotion after you analyze the thing because the emotion is from you. But whenever that urge to be in a certain place, for example, like let's say your guides really want you to go to a certain coffee shop at a certain time because they're trying to make you meet somebody. They want you to be there at this right timing, okay? And 
you might get this feeling in your body, just like a sudden urge to go to this coffee shop, or you're just craving coffee, and this place is right down the street. Just an example. And you might just get this feeling and be like, well, why am I thinking this? And, and just start overthinking, like, oh, I don't need coffee, I have coffee here. And, well, I don't think I should spend the money right now, and then you're thinking about your bank account. And, and Spirit's saying to realize that if you just have that urge out of nowhere, and that's not something that's common for you, and you're not getting some sort of, like, comforting emotion with that or something else, then that's from them. And they really want you to follow those things, okay? And start leaning into that without overthinking it to death. Because I feel that you're somebody who is more comfortable at thinking, especially with this connection to the air element. It's like the swords in tarot, where you're, you're very mental, you're very cognitive about everything. And sometimes you get stuck in these kind of overthinking loops without actually taking physical action. And that can actually like pull the rug out from under you when it comes to your motivation at times, because you get so stuck in overthinking that you don't get anything done. Okay? So Spirit is saying if something, if one of those urges, like the urge to go to the coffee shop, for example, was from you, that would come in very differently. It wouldn't just be like a sudden urge to go there. You'd be like, man, I'm just not having a good day. I just woke up not feeling good, and it would really make me feel comforted to have coffee right now. Or I just want to get out of my house because I'm not feeling comfy here, and I want to take a walk. You know, you know, the discomfort or comfort could lead you to going there, but it wouldn't just be out of nowhere, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. I feel like I'm kind of word dumping here, but I feel like as I'm tuning into your energy, it's making me just babble a little bit. And that's again that like overabundance of air. And what your guides are saying is to really lean into their guidance at this time because they're actually trying to guide you to ground in more. Um, the only animal that's come up so far for you that's super connected to the earth are the hedgehogs, okay? Because even the horses are always, like, running. They're in wind, right? And Hedgehog is coming up here as a guide who really wants to help you go outside and, you know, walk around barefoot or hang out with some plants. Spend time with your crystals. You know, really lean into those lower chakra energies. So you might want to work with Carnelian at this time, okay? And I had hunt come up. This is from a deck that I made. I'm feeling really called to use this right now. So we're going to get a couple more messages that they have for you here. Pack rank and swimming. Okay, so what Spirit is telling me is that they're actually trying to guide you to ground more whenever you are going through your daily life because you get these overthinking cycles. And there are times that you're swimming against the current. And they're trying to help you be easier with your energy because there's things that you're really trying to manifest. And because you're swimming against the current so often in your life, it's causing a lot of frustration and a lot of anxiety and like kind of leading, leading you, I'm feeling, to feel disconnected from other people at times because there's so much in you that it like can't come out fully. This is manifesting as... Not a full blockage, but a little bit of a blockage in the third chakra. So some essential oils that can help with that are um, vanilla can be really helpful. Um, orange or any kind of citrus is wonderful for that. Um, so those could be really helpful for you at this time as well. In just kind of working through that, that blockage of expression too, okay? Um, with pack rank and hunt here... I'm actually feeling that these are connected. In this deck that I created here, um, it, it goes through different elements, and the element that this is connected to is Earth. So they're saying that the ways that the Earth element are actually playing out in your life are through, they're kind of being expressed in like social anxiety at times, and a need to show up either in your job or in your social life in a very specific way so that you can achieve a certain, like, rank with other people or something like that. I feel like you're somebody who goes into social situations and you communicate with other people and the whole time you're having a conversation with them, you might be thinking about, like, what are they thinking of me? 
and just really like over reflecting on everything to the point where it's making it hard for you to be in the moment and spirit is is letting you know that by constantly being in this like hunting mode or like this mode where you're trying to achieve or or attain the next thing it's really taking you out of the moment at this time and they the animals really want to help you reconnect with yourself because you have so much to offer everybody around you. You have this sweet, nurturing soul, and I feel that this is some, this is a defense mechanism that I feel came up because you've been called through so many different cycles of having to protect yourself, and now it's kind of like hyper vigilant. Okay, so let's see what this last card you have is. So we have Fox. This came up in reverse here, and to me, that's actually telling me that. Spirit is calling you to, and the animals especially, are really letting you know that by being in this kind of overthinking, overachieving, overreflecting mode, it's led to a lot of distance from your authenticity. And I don't think that this is something that you have any ill intention with. That's not what this is about. This is saying that you have such a sweet heart and it's okay to be vulnerable. You don't have to always be planning or coming up with a way to move through the next thing. You don't have to think through everything. There are times when it is safe to be vulnerable and it is safe to open up to the right people. And especially spending time in nature with the right people. I feel like that's so important for you right now. And that's really going to kind of unblock this disconnect that's coming through in your throat chakra and just in your the kind of disconnect between your upper chakras and lower chakras um, that help you keep you grounded. Um, this is going to help you be able to manifest things that you want in your life better as well because whenever you're in your authenticity and you're in a vulnerable but divinely protected energy, that's powerful. You don't have to always be the one doing your protection. And that's what the animals want you to know. You can call in your animal guides to let you know if something is off. And you'll get a nudge, like I said, with that'll just come out of nowhere. It won't have an emotion attached to it. There won't be fear with it. But it'll be like a nudge that shows up either in your body or just knowing. Or even a vision or dream you have that tells you that, you know, maybe somebody doesn't have the right intentions around you. And it's not the right person or it's not the right situation for you so the animals just really want you to know at this time that they're here to protect you they're here to let you know and they'll be sort of like your watchdogs they'll be the ones who help you with this and that way you don't have to always go through this by yourself okay so i really hope that this serves you at this time pal one um, it's been a real pleasure connecting to, with your animals for you you can also check out the extended that will be here for this on Patreon, okay? We're going to get into the deeper meaning of why Cat is here, because they didn't want to come out in the first part. They want to come out in the extended. We're going to get into some very specific ways that your guides and the animals are advising you to work through this overthinking energy and ways to lean into your authenticity a lot more. We'll also get into some of um, perhaps your past of why these things specifically came up and how to kind of work through anything, any like negative emotions or fear that's left over from the things that have happened to you, both in the past and in this cycle that you're just now completing. So definitely check out the link to Patreon Extended down in the bio. It's been wonderful connecting to you today. You can give me a follow on Instagram to learn more about the animals, and I'm always available for personal readings through my website. So thank you so much, Pow One. We'll see you next time. Pile 2, welcome to your reading. Today we are going to be asking your animal guides and spirit what messages the animals have for you. So this could be animals that have already passed over and are in spirit, so like your old pets. It could be your current pets that come through, and it could also be um, animal guides that have been around you since you were born, because all of us have different guardians that are from collectives of animal energy. So those would be like your animal allies in spirit who protect you and guide you throughout your, your day. So we'll see what comes up for you.
and you chose the bull. And this guy is a little incense holder, actually. He's really cute. And I got him at this um, Peruvian art store, so that might have some kind of significance for you. And just for the fact that you picked this, I am getting that it's important for you to burn incense in your space because I'm feeling that whenever you're connecting um, in your meditations or just trying to hold sacred space, it would be really helpful for you to have the support of the plants through the different incenses that you pick in order to actually claim your space because I feel that there are times that there's actually energetic interference and you may feel that whenever you're trying to meditate or even rest in your whatever space you typically um, hang out in for a lot of you I'm feeling this is a bedroom actually and I'm seeing that there are like little entities that come in at times that just kind of interfere for some of you, this is from roommates or family members that you live with. And these, these kind of interferences can manifest as sort of anxiety thoughts or just really getting overly concerned or fearful, kind of out of nowhere. So if you've been experiencing that, definitely lean into using incense as a way to set your space or claim your space. Um, Spirit is recommending Nag Champa incense for that because it does kind of raise the vibration of your room. And definitely call in a blue or purple clearing light whenever you are setting your sacred space. So always remember to clear before you meditate is what Spirit is saying here. So let's see what animals want to come through for you. Spirit, please tap me into the energy of Pile 2 listeners. Okay, I'm seeing a salamander before I even pull here. And salamander always talks about change and is connected to fire energy as well. So it's funny that that came up after we talked about the incense. But um, I was seeing salamander in my head here. And salamander is also connected as well to earth and water. So having... Some of you might even have a pet salamander, actually. But... Salamander also speaks of having like a safe place. So I'm really feeling this importance of setting your space right now. So for some of you, you really need to clean your sacred space or clean up your house because that is actually something that can bring in or hold in cluttered energy. Um, you know, you always feel better whenever your house is, is clean. So if you've been having trouble with energy interference, but your house is a mess or, or dirty, you know, there's no shame in it. Everybody's been there, and I, I've definitely had depression at different points in my life to the point where it's too difficult to do it by yourself. But um, try to get help if you can um, to make sure that your space is organized and cleared because that's actually holding a lot of energy in your house that you might even be bringing home from work or somebody else in your house is bringing in from another another place, okay? So the first one they want me to talk about is Ladybug. So I am feeling that you're going to have a good turn of luck in the next three weeks. So something lucky is going to happen, and Spirit wants you to lean into this energy because they're actually sending you this sort of energy current that they're showing here, and they want you to ride this. They're trying to get you in a higher vibration. I feel that your spirit guides and all of your animal allies and ancestors have seen you go through a really heavy period in the last like year and a half. And they really want to help you feel more positive and feel more uplifted because you have so much in your energy field that I'm reading of like dreams that you have and big things you're here to achieve. For a lot of you, it has to do with travel. And... Spirit wants you to know that you're able to manifest everything that you need to make that happen. And they're going to send you different things, like different opportunities, different people, um, even gifts, or just being in the right place at the right time, like serendipitous events that are going to help keep you in a more positive space so that you can continue bringing those good things in that they're trying to send you. Things have been really heavy, just kind of on the planet with everything going on with COVID for the last, like, year or so. 
and spirit doesn't want you to get stuck in this energy because you are a very strong empath and you're somebody who might even tap into that kind of collective energy of depression and that heavier energy that's happening on the planet and get stuck there and spirit does not want that for you so please be aware of it if you've been really stuck in this energy you really need to make sure to use obsidian or use even a ritual knife like an athame to cut those cords every morning and every night that everybody has kind of sent to you or that you've tapped into from the collective because I'm seeing tons of energy cords that are kind of getting stuck to you and bringing your vibration and even your physical energy down. You might even have issues with your stomach, and I'm, I mean, I'm not a doctor, it's YouTube, so I'm just going to throw that out there, but I'm, I'm feeling like a lot of discomfort and kind of like pain or upset in my stomach while I'm, I'm tuned into you, and I don't feel that that is something that is necessarily like 100% related to your health. Um, that could be something that's connected more to the energetic realm because you are a strong empath. So just be aware of that. We also have cat coming up for you. And I actually saw a cat in my mind before we started this reading, but I thought because Pile 1 was a cat that I was going to see if it came out in the cards, so it did. Um, I wanted to make sure I wasn't picking up their energy still, so I actually cleared between. You have a strong connection to the cat realm, so you might be like me and have um, Lyran feline heritage if you uh, are a starseed. Might be very connected to Egypt, or I'm hearing some kind of Persian heritage. Um, and that's not like 100% related to cats, but I think they're saying that because the Persian cats are coming up here. Um, I'm not familiar with the relationship between cats and Persian culture, so I'll have to look into that. But they're, they're bringing up Persian right now. So some of you might even have a pet Persian as well that wants to come through in this reading. Um, but what Kat is telling me here is that they're actually showing up as your main support in this lifetime because they're saying you're always going to land on your feet. And you might have long periods where you're feeling stagnant in your life or inactive uh, or just like not able to show up in the way you want to. And this is actually part of your life path, okay? So Spirit really wants you to stop beating yourself up about these periods of time where you either really kind of, I don't want to say forced into periods of rest because it's not like that. I'm feeling like these periods of rest or like a stopping at different points in your life are punctuated by extreme activity. Like you might go on a huge adventure or a huge like, you know, round the globe kind of traveling thing and then come home and rest for six months so it's not like nothing is happening in your life it's quite the opposite it's like you do these huge things and then have to take a step back and it's very organic and very natural but I feel like you're somebody who has so many like high expectations of yourself that you might be down on yourself about it and spirit is saying you're like a cat you have to rest you have to nap a lot and that's like part of your life path you're very connected to the cats and that's all okay and they want you to feel relaxed about that. It says be relaxed and independent. So you might have periods of time where you are extremely social and engaged with a lot of people, punctuated by these long periods of time where you don't want to be around anybody, and that's okay. That's just who you are, and Spirit wants you to let go of any kind of upset you have about this or any kind of judgment you have about it, because it's literally what you're supposed to be doing, and that's good. Um, this connection to Isis is also coming up here. Uh, they're bringing to mind the wings that Isis has with this kind of shining that's happening behind the cat and this like halo that's going on. So some of you might work with Isis and if you don't you may want to uh, tune into her energy and see if that resonates for you because I'm feeling this energy of purification is so needed for you right now, and Isis is coming through as sort of the answer to that, and the cats are, like, guiding me to her. Um, some of you might already work with Bastet, which is the Egyptian cat goddess. If you don't already, that's who is leading me to Isis. Like, there's this huge connection to Egypt for you. Um, so definitely both of those um, beings would be really amazing for you to work with at this time. Let me tune in for a second here. They're trying to show me something, and I need a moment to actually tune in. 
okay, for some of you, you might be having dreams or an awareness of a connection to Orion, okay? And that's very relevant for you if you are in this period of, like, stagnancy right now. And I feel like everybody in this group is in some way struggling with a stop period or a resting period. And this one, your guides are telling me, is actually connected to some... Wow, you're very cosmic. Um, you're very tuned into the other realms all the time. And it's... It's like you're working through a past life at this time that's extremely old. It's connected to the Orion Wars. If you're not familiar with what that is, you can definitely like look into it more online. Um, if you look up Starseed Orion Wars, but I'll give you what I know about it, just from my own experiences and from working with and guiding clients through this kind of thing as well. Um, so how I understand the Orion Wars to be is that the Lyran felines, which is a race of star beings connected to Lyra, and especially um, the star Vega, the Lyrans were kind of forced off their planet by an invading force, okay? I always see them as kind of like a reptilian force, but it's kind of up for debate, I think. Um, there's so many different energies that come up with Orion, and it's such old energy that I don't feel that it's something we'll ever 100% know. But I usually see them as kind of looking like toads or like frogs. So if you're seeing frogs or toads a lot, or a lot of reptiles more so than usual, um, this is another kind of indication from spirit that this is something that is being worked through right now. But anyway, what happened with the Orion Wars is that the Lyrans were kind of like pushed off of their, their planet, pushed off of their home world and it got destroyed. So the Lyrans are actually a race of beings that don't have a home anymore, and they became travelers. So if you're an avid traveler, that is why. Most of us are who have this kind of like star seed heritage, okay? And what Spirit wants you to know here is because you're transmuting this kind of really dense energy of losing your home, you might be really feeling a lot of loneliness that's not even making sense with your situation right now. You just might feel really alone, really lost, or really isolated. And I think this is in part the energy of the planet right now with everything happening, and you're naturally keyed into that. But it's also that you have this huge connection to Lyra and the Orion Wars that is ready to be released from, from you right now, because you're such a strong empath and is a strong, I guess, like, psychically keyed in being that you're constantly working on through your Akashic records, you're constantly opening up your gifts, and you're, like, one foot in, one foot out on this planet all the time. And I am too, so I totally get how frustrating and how, how amazing that is, because it can be both. And Spirit is saying that you're working through this bigger this bigger theme right now in your life of what does it mean to be alone and what does it mean to be at home, okay? <laughs> and it's interesting because both of those sentiments have different meanings for everybody, but they want me to relay this to you because I've worked through a lot of my connection to the Orion Wars already. They, the lesson I always get with them is that home is your heart. You know, home isn't a physical place necessarily. And even if it is a physical place for you, it's going to change over time. There's never things that stay stable in this world. Like, everything is always changing. And it's kind of like leaning into the zen of allowing change to happen, but not getting stuck in it. You're not getting stuck in the... I guess, like, nostalgia or sadness of things changing, okay? So definitely look into Zen and mindfulness as a way to work through that if you're really feeling that intensely. And with the loneliness, I always see loneliness as a good indicator of how much self-care you're doing because you could have hardly anybody around you in your life, um, but as long as you have at least one really solid good friend You don't need to be lonely, you know? 
It's, it's not something that you should be feeling all the time. Or not that you should be feeling, but let me think how to explain this. This is a lot of intense energy they're sending to me, so I'm sorry if I'm kind of stuck here. Spirit is saying that some of you have people around you, is what I want to say, okay? I feel that a lot of you have one or two, like, really solid, good, supportive people. And, but you still feel lonely even when you have good people around you. And this is what they're speaking about, okay? So if you don't have somebody around you that you can trust right now, the cats are working to send you this, okay? But this is still a message for you. They're saying that if you're feeling lonely right now, you can always help to work through that by caring for yourself more by being your own best friend because holding that energy helps to bring in good people. The more you respect yourself, the more you attract people who respect you too. This is from a deck that I made um, that Spirit kind of channeled through me. It's actually, and it's funny that I'm using this, the first time using this deck and it was the Lyrans who brought it through for me. But the Lyrans are very, and the cats especially, work a lot with darkness, and they don't have a fear of the dark because they see in the dark better than other creatures, and because the dark hides them whenever they're hunting and getting things they need, but the Dark Knight of the Soul card came up for you in reverse, and I do feel that this is something you're about to totally work through, okay? But I see it happening, and it's, you know, Dark Knights of the Soul are nothing to shrug at, they're really difficult. And my heart goes out to you at this time. Spirit is helping you to transform this situation. They're sending you, like, currents of positivity. And they need you to notice when these currents are coming in and ride them. Because they're trying to flow you to something better. So, as much as you can, be gentle with yourself at this time. Definitely do that. I also got the Otter card for you. Um, this came out before I even pulled for PAL 1, but they told me to save it for PAL 2, okay? Um, I got Otter in reverse, and Otter talks about a need for fun. So if you're somebody who overworks, they're saying that you need to, you need to prioritize fun. Need to, <laughs> okay? Um, this is also number 8, which has to do with abundance. And they're saying that the more that you make time for things that bring you joy, whatever that looks like for you, it can be something really silly. It doesn't have to be something that other people would find fun. It's fine. But they're saying that the more that you do that, the more it's going to attract more of that, both for you and bringing in people who are going to also want to do those things with you. I'm going to get one more card here from this... Um, Okay, we also got rain or crest. So this card has two different meanings. The first one is rain, and is talking about how rain can be depressing but also nourishing. So this is a necessary purge that you're going through right now. And crest is saying that it's almost over. It's like that moment before, you know, the crest is the highest point of a wave before it crashes. So if things have been really intense lately, they're saying it's not going to stay that way. So please don't feel that you're going to get stuck in that energy, okay? It's about to... You have to keep riding this wave so that it can crash safely, okay? You can't just, like, um, try to jump off in the middle of it. Okay, and your last card that came out is actually blank in reverse. Um, what this means for you... Because I always see the blank cards as the current direction of your life. Because I see blank as chaos energy. And I'm a chaos witch, so that's a good energy, okay? It's not like the energy of being out of control, not that kind of chaos. It's chaos in the sense of pure potential. It's like a stem cell. It can become anything. And for this coming out in reverse is telling me that for a long time now, you've been in the habit of feeling really sorry for yourself and feeling really negative. And while you deserve to be able to feel what you need to feel, Spirit is saying that it's so important for you to notice your thoughts and get a hold of your thoughts because this is actually changing how your life is going. It's attracting things to you that are 
not serving you, okay? And it's not so much attracting, like, physical things. It's not like that because I don't think that's how law of attraction even works, to be honest with you. But what I'm seeing is that it's kind of like food for these lower entities that are coming into your space. So definitely take time to clear your space, clean your space, and make sure that your area that you hang out in a lot feels really good for you. I mean, if it's too overwhelming to do your house all at once because your house is a mess or something, start with your car. That's what I've done because there have been plenty of times that I was too overwhelmed with my life or, you know, too depressed or too sick or whatever to actually, like, do my full house. So I made my car my really clean, really safe, really nice space where it had crystals I liked or it had, like, you know, just little things that made me happy, okay? And start with something like that, you know, start with even just one room or one corner of your house if you need to. And every time that you see that clean corner, like, put things in there that make you happy. Just some kind of, like, they're showing me, like, a step stool so that you can step up and then ride this wave that the ladybugs are bringing in. It's like this wave of positive energy, okay? So... They're just letting you know to be aware whenever you're getting into a negative thought patterns so that you can say, okay, no, stop. Well, I'm going to back up and I'm going to take control of this because right now I'm in a rest period, but I'm going to get onto something really, really good. I'm manifesting in amazing things for myself and I'm going to achieve my goals. My guides are helping me with that, but I need to be able to step up onto this higher wave of energy to get what they're sending me. Okay, that was a lot of energy. Holy cow, pal, too. Alright, so I'm going to take this to the extended now in Patreon. So you will find the link for that in the description. And what I'd like you to know about that is we're going to get into some more specific ways that your animals recommend that you kind of step up onto this more positive energy. Some guidance that they're going to bring through that's very specific on how to clear your space or your home. And I'm also going to get some more animals that want to come through because I was planning on bringing through a lot more animals for you and a lot more like specific messages, but it seemed like the cats had so much to say to you and there's just such a dense energy around you that Spirit really wanted to bring that through. So we will get into all of that there and I hope you can join me in Patreon. And it's been wonderful connecting with you. I hope that you follow me on Instagram. You can always check out what I put on there because I put all kinds of readings on there. And I'd also like to invite you to have a personal reading, coaching, or healing with me. I'm always available for that, so definitely check that out in the description as well. I always book through my website, so I know a lot of people are being scammed right now. Only book through um, my website that I have in the description. I will never reach out to you to get you to book something, okay? Um, so it's been wonderful, pal, too. I will see you in the extended. Bye. Pal 3, welcome to your reading. Today we're going to be asking spirit and your animals what messages your animal allies have for you. So we could be getting into what the collectives of animals around you have messages about. So those would be your allies or, you know, different collections of animal energies or spirits that are helping you, guiding you in your life. Uh, this could also be pets that you have now, pets that you have in spirit, um, so far, the other piles have not had too many pets come through, so we'll see what happens for you. I'm excited to get into it. And you chose the elephant, 
So we'll get into that energy for you. I also pulled a card at the beginning. We're going to be reading this at the end of your reading just for some extra guidance here. So I'm going to shuffle and we'll see what the first message is for you. So before I even pull, I actually have parrots coming into my head. And parrots have to do with your communication style. They also have to do with things that you might be carrying around from other people, like things that other people have told you that kind of become the thoughts buzzing around in your head. And Spirit is really explaining to me right now with these parrots that they mean a few different things here. The first one's coming through are the lovebirds, so this could have to do with the love connection that they're showing up about, but what Spirit is saying is that the parrots are kind of cautioning you against taking in things that your romantic partners have told you about yourself and to get really clear about who you are independent of your relationships and not what other people have viewed you as because they're showing me a parrot looking in a mirror and thinking that the the bird in the mirror is them and trying to interact with this false bird I guess and Spirit is saying that they don't want you to view yourself through someone else's lens. So they're really speaking about the importance at this time of being able to distinguish between what other people think of you versus what you think of yourself. So you might need some time to yourself right now. They're actually showing me a bathtub. So for some of you, that could be the time that you spend in the bath. Or it might just be a good idea to take a day or two and go somewhere and just like have some time to yourself and not spend every moment outside of your house with a partner if you have one or worrying about things that people have told you in the past about yourself if you are single. Okay. First animal that's coming up in the cards is the deer or are the deer. So deer always show up to let us know that everything is going to be okay. It's a very simple message, but the longer I work with the deer, because they're my main animal in this lifetime, and I'm connected to Kiranonos as well, which is the, the horn god, and deer are amazing because they have always showed up for me during the darkest times of my life. They'll just show up in places where deer should not even be, like physically show up, and jump in front of my car or do whatever, and it's always to let me know that spirit has my back no matter what is happening or how much I'm screwing up or how much other people are screwing up. It's just this idea that everything that you're going through is spirit trying to push you through to something better. You know, even if we get off track or other people really get us off track, spirit is always there for us. The animals are always there for us. Our guides, our ancestors are always there to help push us back onto a good track so we're not swimming against the current in our lives. And the card says, trust in the support of the universe. This is also talking about the solar plexus. Okay, so for a lot of you, and this makes sense with the first thing that came up with the parrots as well, there's a real need to strengthen your solar plexus energy. Your solar plexus is where your triggers live, so if you're somebody that's had a lot of trauma in your life, um, your triggers kind of live in that energy center, okay? In addition to obviously physically being in your brain, right? But it also is where your confidence lives or doesn't live. So right now I'm actually seeing your solar plexus just as a group as kind of a dull, kind of funkier brown color, which tells me that it's been oversaturated with other people's energy. Um, so you might have had some really insecure people around you in the past. For a lot of you, I do feel these were romantic interests or um, partners even that were insecure and kind of like put out their negativity onto you because they were threatened by you in some way. And that's not to say that these people were all bad people. Sometimes people are just growing at different rates. You know, everybody has their reasons for doing things good or bad, right? But regardless of what these people's intentions were, I do feel that this has affected you pretty deeply, Pile 3, and that this has led to you really doubting yourself a lot more than Spirit wants you to. So they really want you to focus on affirmations 
and really almost making like this is so funny they're using the word portfolio so some of you might be job hunting or thinking about job hunting but they they want you to put together some kind of portfolio be that mental or a, a physical real life portfolio that showcases your achievements or your things you're proud of in your life um, for some of you this will just be journaling every day about something that makes you proud of yourself or something that has that's like a part of your identity that you feel very confident in and very good in and spirit really wants you to know that they want to gas you up about this they really want you to recognize these beautiful and like strong qualities in yourself so that you stop thinking about the parts that aren't as strong about yourself because everybody has those parts and for someone else to tell you that the only thing that matters about you are these parts that are not as developed in you or not as strong in you is really unfair because it doesn't view you as a three-dimensional person it doesn't view you as like a real person it almost puts you as like it's kind of a form of objectification or a form of <laughs> poor storytelling is what I'm hearing. Some of you have to be writers because they're using the word portfolio and they're, <laughs> they're talking about um, terms I used in my writing classes. I went to school for writing too. So if you're a writer, I see you. Um, the struggle can be real. <laughs> but they're, they're wanting you to move forward with any kind of project or any kind of endeavor that you have that you put on hold because of someone in the past. So if that makes sense for you, they really want you to get busy. <laughs> they, they want you to get busy with this and they also want you to network with people who see your, who see you. And they're using the word joy, they see your joy. Um, your joy may have even made other people upset in the past or offended. Like I'm seeing somebody I'm seeing kind of all of you as one person, pile three, just getting so lit up and so excited about things you're passionate about, and somebody just, like, getting so um, triggered by that. Like, they see your joy, and it, like, offends them and makes them feel uneasy because they don't feel that joy in their life about anything. And they're just like, I have to get rid of this somehow. So it's like they're shooting down your interests or just, like, not being kind to you about things that are really cool about you. And Spirit is saying they're sending you people, you know, they're sending you other people who want to work with you on these things that you like, so, um, <laughs> this is so specific, okay, but they're saying cosplay for some of you, so there may be some cosplayers in here, but they're showing me, like, being at a con and doing, like, elaborate costumes and, you know, really putting your heart and soul into these things, or even being somebody who's on Twitch or something like that, just where you're, like, performing, um, for other people and, like, sharing your gifts or your skills at this thing that you're really excited about. Um, <laughs> I'm also hearing nerds. So for a lot of you, this is, like, a very specific thing that you just nerd out about and you just love it and you can't get enough of it and you don't even care. Once you start talking about it, it's like, I'm just gonna keep going. And Spirit is saying, yes, good, we love that for you, we want this. And the more you talk about it and share about that thing, like, yes, some people might not want to connect with you on that, but who cares? That's getting rid of people that don't matter in your life. The people who matter will be just as excited for you as you are for this thing, right? Or they might even, like, be just as excited about the same thing as you are. But what Spirit wants you to know is, like, good friends and good lovers and good partners will always be happy will be excited for your joy like they'll be able to take part in your joy in some way even if they're not doing that activity with you they're they're here for it you know so i'm so sorry that you guys had to go through that i am feeling that oh well this came out in a different um in a different pal as well some of you might want to listen to pal one okay because pal one had the hedgehog come out as well and i shuffled three different times between here. So this card honestly doesn't come out a whole lot, um, just in general when I'm doing readings. So with Hedgehog coming up here, you've really developed kind of like a defense mechanism. Uh, you might be somebody who doesn't talk to, doesn't talk a lot or, you know, I'm going to put that away. I don't feel like that's for you. You might be somebody who doesn't share as much of yourself as you used to because of 
either what this person is doing in your life or what this person did in the past. I feel that a lot of you are away from this person, which makes me happy because I don't think they're good for you necessarily. But you're the best judge of your life, and you know, and I think that if this person is around in your life right now and you really feel that this is something you can work through, then I trust your judgment. I'm just here to provide extra guidance and kind of pass along what your your guides, your angels, your animals have to say to you. So, like I said, some of you have developed this really strong, like, boundary system. Um, you know, your spines or whatever um, with this hedgehog. And then I see bat here, which is telling me that you see through people's people's crap. You might have even known that these this person or people have did this to you because they were insecure. So I don't feel like you get stuck in illusion about it at all. But I do feel that it was a hard, this has been hard for you, okay? And Spirit is saying that it's okay to really feel upset about this. You know, it's okay to mourn people that had to leave your life because they weren't good for you. Or situations that had to leave your life because they didn't treat you right. You know, that's, it's okay to be upset with that, and it's okay to take your time moving forward. So, the bats and monkeys are coming through to kind of add this layer of support. With the monkey here, I feel that this is one of your main animals. Um, so, for a lot of you, you might be, like, mischievous, or just, like, you like to prank people, you're kind of a performer. I feel a lot of performing vibes here. Um, like, you just really like to present your your things to other people in some way. I feel like you're very good at that. You know, whatever this passion of yours is, you're really good at it. And that's what spirit wants you to know. And with the monkeys here, monkey has been around you since the very beginning of your life. And they really want you to connect with them more and lean into that trickster energy that they have around them. Because it's really cool. Monkey has this, um, this trickster energy with it that doesn't take anything seriously. It's like the energy of Loki, if you're familiar with Loki. Like, you just don't take anything too seriously. You kind of know that this is all an illusion and you're just here to learn lessons. Um, but there's also this incredibly dignified part of you that's, you know, on the other end of it, like um, Hanuman energy. Um, he's the, the monkey god in Hinduism. Um, I connect a lot with him. He's great. But he has the, he's this very dignified, extremely loyal um, being. And he's very protective of those that he loves. And he, would, he literally moves mountains for them. And I feel that this perfectly describes how you are to people. So whenever somebody is not showing up for you in the way that you deserve, it's heartbreaking because you know how you would treat people. And some people just can't or don't think that way, is what I'm hearing. And, and Monkey really wants you to lean into the idea that, you know, it literally says on the card, experience everything that life has to offer. So Monkey is saying, you know, there's things to get out of this too. Even though this is not something that has been a fun experience for you, it has taught you a lot. It's helped sharpen your abilities. And whenever you do choose to dive back into this passion of yours, if you haven't already, you're going to show up with so much more, like, you're going to be a tour de force with this thing. Like, you're just going to take off with it, and there's not going to be a single soul on this planet or any other that's going to hold you back with that because you've already done your time um, feeling unconfident. I just don't feel like your confidence is ever going to waver again after this, and that was the main thing that Monkey is bringing through for you. Also, um, Badger came up in reverse here, and Badger is my boundaries card. They always talk about boundaries. Oh my goodness. Sorry for the outside noise. These people are wild. But um, with Badger coming up in reverse, Spirit is letting you know, and the Badgers especially are letting you know, that you don't have to lean into the energy of having ultra strong boundaries. Your animals are here to show up and support you and act as like a shield and a warning system to let you know if somebody shouldn't be there. So you don't have to be... Yeah, you need to listen to Pile 1 if you haven't. I mean, do what you want, but I think Pile 1 had this exact message. Um, so I think these two pals are related. But the animals are here to make sure that you get everything that you need. And they're never going to let you down if you call on them. But the thing about working with spirit, especially the animals, 
is you have to invite them. We all have free will and nothing is able to interfere with your freedom in your spiritual world unless you invite it in some way or unless you allow it in some way. So as soon as you invite the animals in, they got you. So definitely call in monkey, call in badger, bat, deer, bee, hedgehog, you know, all of them. And even the elephants here. And let them know that you would like them to help you have good boundaries to the point where you're not putting up total walls to keep people out. But just having enough boundaries to sort people out and kind of suss them out and know if they're good or not. Um, if they're good for you, if they're going to help boost you up and bless your endeavors and not, you know, be upset by them or low-key tear them down or try to mess with your confidence because you don't deserve that. You deserve better than that. Oh, wow. Okay, freedom. I think that's self-explanatory. I, I think that your self-confidence is incredibly tied to your sense of freedom. And this these people that kind of tore you down about this before are not going to be able to ever... Nobody like that is ever going to be able to touch this again. Because look at this. We have this bright yellow card coming through, like the solar plexus, and it's high noon. You're going to just shine with this. You might even pursue whatever this interest is or passion is as your career. Uh, I think that's a little bit down the road for you. Like the next three years or so, I think this is going to catch on. But Spirit is like, nothing is going to dim this for you ever again. So please don't worry yourself about that. Just focus on doing whatever you need to do to get back into the swing of things. And with Elephant here, I'm feeling that leaning into your family, be that chosen family or you know, blood family is really important for you right now. For some of you, that's actually, you know, your spiritual family, like the animals, plant allies. Um, I feel that a lot of you listening work mostly with those energies. But, you know, ancestors, uh, angels, I feel like there's a lot of people listening to this group that don't connect with ancestors. And what I'd like you to know is working with healed ancestors is very different than just open door ancestors. So if you choose to go down that path at any point, ask for your healed ancestors, okay? Because I am sensing that there's even some ancestral energies that kind of try to take from you at times. So be really diligent about letting spirit know that you only invite in the highest and best and healed energies to work with you, okay? Uh, and the mouse. This is such a good one to close up your reading on. Mouse is actually really connected to elephant because if you are familiar with Ganesha, the elephant god from Hinduism, um, the animal connected with him is actually a mouse. It's not an elephant. And it's like this idea that you have this huge animal and this very tiny animal. So there's like this, you, you can kind of fill anything up that you want to with this part of your life. Like, is what I mean is, like, you have this very expansive energy that can, like, fill up whatever space you want to. So if you want this passion to be a smaller part of your life, you're welcome to do that. But if you want to go full on with it, like, you're high noon, baby. You can do it. You're shining. Like, you can, <laughs> you can do whatever you want with this. And especially for Ganesha to come through so specifically, I work with Ganesha, so these these two um, symbols to me are telling me that Ganesha's energy is here, and whether or not you choose to work with Ganesha is irrelevant. He's the obstacle remover. Like, he breaks through any obstacle that shows up, so you have unlimited potential here. Like, spirit is gonna literally move mountains to help you. They're gonna help you move whatever you need to out of your way to make this happen, whatever you choose to do moving forward. Oh, what a cool reading. I love that. <laughs> you know, there's always this one reading that really sticks out to me as, like, just amazing energy, and that's what I feel like it is for you, Pal 3. So, it's been awesome reading for you. I'm actually going to be taking this to the extended now. So, we will get into how Spirit really wants you to, more specifically, like, build up this confidence again. They're gonna, the animals are gonna come through and bring some very specific messages, uh, a lot more specific than just affirmations. We're also going to get into what co what's coming up in your future, because 
we didn't do this for the other groups, but I feel that getting a reading for what's coming up for you in the next three years will be very, this will serve you, because you have a lot coming for you. There's actually a huge expanse of, like, they're showing me a road <laughs> moving forward in your energy that you're about to, like, blaze through, so I think a lot's going to be happening for you. So we'll get some guidance on the future, and any other animal messages that want to come through. So thanks so much for being here, Pile 3. Definitely um, check out my Instagram as well for some more readings and just kind of information about things I offer. I'm always available as well for personal readings, spiritual coaching, healings, and I do have um, clearing oils and um, sprays, things like that to help clear out your energy with all this new stuff coming in. So it's been wonderful connecting to you. I'm definitely looking forward to your extended. Take care, Pothy.